Scott, also known as the little guy, the guy on the left, the silent one, has long-lasting COVID symptoms and still cannot fully taste or smell. Hashtag, trust Bart. All right, we're beeping to the boobin. Woo! Beep to the boob. Scotch yep. Test Dummies, I'm Scott. Bart! Elijah Craig, Barrel Proof, one of our favorites. Oh, uh, this is a batch B, baby, a batch B. B521, it's 59.1%, and we're going to... Test that! Best bourbon for my palate style. Still 12 years old style. <laughs> yeah. check and make sure they still put that on the side let's see i have not let's say it 12 years old Woo! non-chill filtered like it like it now i've got to admit right off the bat i'm a little prejudged on this a little prejudged why biased yeah well prejudged We're, against are we stereotyping well i love it but what i don't like is a lower abv now you should slap me in the face for saying 59.1 is low is, yeah right but i like seeing 68s or maybe even a 70 <laughs> But 61, 65, anything, 66, yeah. But at least put yep. me into those sixes. Yeah, we see? are a little bit lower. Yeah, what did it say those again? Wow, yeah. that was yeah. like music. Uh, 61, Woo. 65, yes. 66, Woo 65, Climb, 65. Baby. So 59.1, but it's not like you can joke around and say that's low ABV. That's still high ABV. That's still good. Yeah, hopefully. So, but love this. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right up front. This is my favorite bourbon. We call it the Bottle of Wow. This is what really set the tone for me and moved me because at the time I was kind of more of a rye fan. And then Scott had this, bought this, and I tried it. And whoo! It was yeah. one of these, but it was the 60, yeah. 69.7, I want yes. to say, was the first beautiful. one that we had. Beautiful. We like, Whoa, what yes. is that? And I love the old bottle style better. So bringing that up is good. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? I call this the coffin. This looks like a coffin to me. Yep. So. Um. So let's see. I'm gonna try. It. Is this is this good? Chances are. Yes. Now you're saying still trust Bart. I will tell you. Oh. Uh, we've been. I've been doing a lot of yard work yesterday. My allergies are up. I still can breathe. Breathe. I like how that came across. Breathe. But I'm a little bit. Uh, blocked. I'm still uh, long-term COVID effects here. Palette mostly back. Smell is not. I do get, I got a little bit of cherries though right up front. Yeah. I don't know if I can usually get cherries with ECBP. Yeah, I don't know. Brown sugars. Yeah. Oh, just a. Uh, it's, it's not jumping out of the glass at me though at 59.1. No. I'm still wondering if I'm, I'm getting a little bit stuffed up as we filmed here. I, I started clear and now I'm getting stuffed up. Let's just say the nose has got to be standard ECBP. It is nose. very much that standard ECBP. I think we can just skip nose. Brown nose sugar, on sure, it's good. Uh, yeah, there's a touch of cherry in there. Why my voice is? <laughs> what do you got up there? I'm making beep to the boop noises over here. This is the best of the day. Oh I'll really? Tell you that. Oh yeah. Oh wow, I like it. Um. <laughs> Definitely that ECBP mouthfeel. Mm. Um, rich. Wow. See, it makes coating. me want to, I just, wow. <laughs> just saturates everything. Takes over good. front to back. No doubt when you sip this, what you're sipping. Velvety mouthfeel. Um, just warming, sweet. I want to say treckle. Treckle is some kind of like, isn't that like a caramelization thing or something? Mm -hmm. Delicious. Beautiful. Man, this is so good. You cannot go wrong with the ECBP. So this is what you would expect. Even at that lower uh, proof, it just got me to, <laughs> I, I kind of coughed on a little bit. So again, it's not low proof at 59.1. It's very drinkable at 59.1. Oh, so of course, I'm just taking little yeah. sips, but well, it's very... I'm eyeballing your 1.75 old bottle over there. That's a 12-year that I want. Yeah, the old yeah, the old small batch. small batch handle. Ooh, the handle. 
going with a good side drop of water there. Give me just a little dropper. Little dropper, dropper. <laughs> I don't get you still. This is good. Finish still going on. Cherries on the palate. Yeah. I can't say, actually, that this stands out as anything less than Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Right. It's beautiful. It's great. So it's a good... Oh, well, it tells me that the, the proof isn't really the dominant factor here. So, on another day, we may just need to... This would be a crazy day. We could do several ECBPs blind and see if we were able to pick one out above the other. Yeah, would, that's would, would we just pick high proof though, do you think? I don't know. Could be at that point. That they were yeah, all that's 60, a weird one. They were all 63 to 66 <laughs> percent. That would be all awesome. um drop of water didn't hurt. I'm even gonna add another one just to see what happens here. I don't think I added enough. I couldn't tell the difference there. There's no but I I don't usually have water affecting it at all. I mean it can it'll obviously bring that proof down. Um, I do have these upstairs on my little daily go-to area. Um, and what I'll like to do is when I come in from yard work, I'll throw a cube in and then pour a little ECBP and let it just kind of mellow down and chill it out a little bit. But I'll be honest with you, I don't like doing that with my ECBP because the chiller, the cooler it gets, the less flavor I'll get. But there's so much flavor in ECBP that it can't kill it. But I usually don't like to ice it. I don't want it chilled. I like it room temp. Looking for more nosy notes. I'm not getting any. Uh, that's just because of my muted palate. Well, we've hit it, I think. Yeah. So, that's good. I, I was a little concerned at that slightly lower proof. Have no doubts whatsoever. That's still phenomenal. I want to say... A batch from 2019 or 2020 was like 53% or Ooh. 55. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of the stag, the BTAC stag. They did a real low uh, proof release compared to what they normally do. Got it. Yeah. Uh, this this upholds the Elijah Craig tradition. Um, the, the small batch alone is good. But we love this. We love the 12 years. Um Put out more of it. People need to know this and what it tastes like. It's so that good. This is one you can still find if you if you search for it. So three times a year, uh, batch A is released in January. Usually in our market, it shows up February or March. It's, it takes a month or two to get here. Is cool. This is the, the B batch, or this was released in May, and it's June. It just showed up here, which is pretty quick for our area. It Usually is. it's a couple of months till it shows up. But Tasty. South Dakota dude had just commented that he hadn't had it. He was going around. He was just whiskey shopping, and he went into his normal shop, and the owner had asked him, he said, is there, you know, what are you looking for? And he said, well, I'd really like to find an ECBP. And the, and the owner said, I've got it in the office. Do you want one? And he said, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes I do. So sometimes you do have to ask. Um, it used to, like some bourbons, it used to always be out on the shelf. Sometimes it's in the back room now. You have to ask for it, or sometimes it's in the glass case. In our area still, you know, 60, 65 bucks, well worth it. Yeah. Uh, and I still say, I think if you find this for under 100, I mean, naturally, you're going to say you like it cheaper, right? I do. Yeah, I do. of course, everybody likes it cheaper. Sure. But even if you saw this and it's 90, if I saw this and, and I needed it, it was a new bottle, I didn't have it, it as a 99, I'm probably still picking it up. Here's what's crazy. They make this 65, I buy two of them. All right, 120, 130 bucks now. You start upping it up. I mean, it, there's such great whiskey out there that you can get for still really, really good prices. We won't go into that now, but there's a lot of good whiskey out there. There's a lot of good whiskey out there. You don't have to pay a premium price. Is this a premium whiskey? It is. So I get why why it's sought out, but. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay anything over a hundred dollars. Right. For it. Yeah, I think in some places you might see it one forty nine, maybe even one ninety nine. No, 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 no. Nope. Don't do that. No, nope. they need to bring that price down. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, so as far as I'm concerned, but hey, 
is what it is. It is the bottle of wow. It's delicious. Um, this is one of those finishes that just keeps giving to. Yeah, this this I mean, sets still. Um, this sets to me what bourbon is. Delicious from twelve years and high proof. <laughs> that definitely helps. All those things are good. Yeah, bring it on more and more and more. Uh, definitely low nineties, normal. 91, 92, somewhere in there. It's nothing. I mean, it's not a. a give it still it, a ninety. It doesn't seem like it's an extraordinary batch. No, like this is a whole one lot. Where, yeah, there. this isn't one where I'm out searching all these out trying to snatch them off it, the it, shelves. It feels like an average ECBP release, right? Which means it's at the top tier. Still good. Yeah. So I yeah. mean, this is what you would expect from a bottle of Wow. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Cool. Go to ScotchTestDummies.com. You can buy coins, hats, shirts, dropper sets. Probably other stuff we forgot about. <laughs> That's right. You can go to Patreon if you like the show. Go to Patreon, look up Scotch Test Dummies. You can support for as little as a dollar, as much as a million. <laughs> probably not that, probably not that. But you can go and support at uh, Patreon. Just look up Scotch Test Dummies.com or Scotch Test Dummies. Dot com is the merch site. Sorry. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. It's launch Dummies. Dummies. Thank you.